Hey everybody, this is Dead Winter Dead, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I want to do a really, really quick video showcasing my mouse and keyboard bindings. I've read on forums, I've seen in videos, and I've had friends who play Dark Souls on the regular that it was designed, and it's a lot more intuitive and a little bit easier on the nerves, I guess, if you use a gamepad and or controller, meaning you have a gamepad that you plug into your PC or you just straight up play it on console. Now, if you're like me, there are three reasons why you don't want to do this. One, you like mouse and keyboard. You've always played with mouse and keyboard. That's me. Two, you don't own a gamepad to plug in to your system. Again, that's me. And three, you suck. You suck. You suck at using a controller and or gamepad. And once again, yes, that is me. So, really quick, let's go through these bindings. Out of the box, the bindings are atrocious. They are terrible. And one of the things that kind of annoys me, matter of fact, my only knock on the game, I mentioned it in my first impressions, is the horrible clunky UI and the lazy ass, lazy ass control port that they did. I'm not sure why they did that. But, as you can see here, I cannot click on any of these. They have them down there for me to see, but I can't click on any of them. They, you can map keys to this, map key to the green A, the red B, the blue X, the yellow Y. You can map keys to it, but for some reason they built in, if you click the right mouse button here, you can do all that by moving your mouse and clicking on those particular options. Not sure why they built a whole separate menu and they could have just added the click links down here. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But hey, what are you going to do? Left alt I use for walk. The only time you're going to be walking really is to sneak up on enemies and devastate them with that rear attack. WSAD, very, very, very typical, almost universal for moving your character around, so I didn't mess with those. Dash, back step, roll, and jump. I use spacebar. The reason I use both of those is because it's typically all kind of the same movement. You can dash back by moving just the spacebar or by using the WSAD keys and the spacebar. You can dash and roll in different directions while you're trying to not get murdered. Camera control, all done with the mouse hand. The only thing that's not done is lock on. I use Q for my lock on. Now when my fingers rest on WSAD, my ring finger rests on A and I can shoot up and hit Q and lock on to enemies at will. Mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down to switch spells and quick items and then shift mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down for your left and right hand weapons. Not very intuitive but it actually does work. It takes a couple, takes a couple minutes uh, to get used to it but I'm completely used to it now. It's just a new mechanic for me. Attacking. Now typically you would always, your main attack button is always left mouse. 99.9% .9 of the time left mouse is your main attack weapon. You can map your mouse button so that you have your right mouse button to control your right hand and your left mouse button to, to control your left hand for your dual wield builds, but I just feel it's a lot more intuitive if I just stick with what I know. And that's what I'm trying to do with these key bindings, stick with what I know. Now strong attack, right hand, I use button 4 on my mouse. I have a razor death adder. Button 4 is the thumb button which is closest to the front of the mouse. Button 3 is the thumb button which is closest to the rear of the mouse. So I'm able to control all of my attacking with three fingers on my right hand. Really, really easy to do. Now click mouse wheel, I use it to, to um, use an item. What I typically do is I remove R, this key binding. So I click mouse wheel to throw firebombs and to use Estus, etc, etc. Because it's a lot more intuitive for me. I typically look at that as like my grenade button or like my utility button. And again, controlled by my right hand and uh, one of the three fingers on my right hand, typically my index finger. Interact, E, that's pretty intuitive. Two hand, F, no problem there at all. Your menus. Usually when you're going to be in the menu, you are going to actually be at Firelink Shrine or you're going to be hiding in some corner of a level somewhere and you haven't aggroed any enemies. So the menu I didn't really mess with a whole lot. The only thing I did change um, was confirm and cancel. Confirm, number one. Cancel, number two. I kind of uh, look at it like, uh, you know, uh, to continue, press one. To uh, go back, press two or whatever, you know, that whole phone message thing. But, like I said, they also have, if you click the right mouse button, they have this built-in menu, which you can easily use to navigate 
in and out of menus, whether you're at a vendor or whether you're at Firelink trying to uh, equip or unequip weapons, or whether you're on a level trying to do the exact same thing. It's not advised to go into these types of menus when you're in the middle of combat anyway. You need to have all your gear set up and ready to roll so you're not goofing around some kind of a clunky UI menu in the middle of combat and again getting murdered. So if you guys like this, uh, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and if you are using mouse and keyboard, I definitely, definitely advise you to check out my settings. But take 15, 30 minutes. What I did was I went through Cemetery of Ash several times and tried different settings out to try to make this work for me. This is the best setting for the equipment that I have and for the way my hands move and my muscle memory. It works really, really, really well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Dead Winter Dead. Thanks for watching.